Hello everybody, this is Ashley. Today I have a project share. Um, I am gonna show you all my um, Heidi Swap Marquee letters that I altered, finally. Um, I've been having one of them for a very long time now, and then one I just found out, um, not found out, but I found at Michael's about a week ago, clearance stop for 57 cent. It was one of the mini ones. I think it was left over from holiday season. It was the small ones that you string the lights and you kind of hang them. Um, so I just um, went ahead and altered both of those. And then I'll show you some of the plies that I used first before I actually show you the letters. Um, so on the first one, um, which is the big size of her marquee letters, the original size, um, I used her washi tape. Because like I said, when I got these along the, you know, the marquee letters a long time ago, um, this washi tape came out with it. So I went ahead and purchased this one at the time. So I was like, let me go ahead and give it a go. And this print is gorgeous, but the quality of it is horrible. I don't like it at all. For one, you can see that this the chipboard takes up pretty much everything. Like there's really nothing on this roll at all, to be honest. Um, it doesn't stick that well. It's just, it's really not a good washi tape. But like I said, the design is gorgeous. I was just a little disappointed with um, this as a whole. As well as the marquee letters too. I'll tell you a little bit later about that when I show you them. But a little disappointed with both of them. I'm glad I got all of them on clearance. So, you know, got that. Um, and then these are just some of the leftover bulbs. Um, I don't have the packaging anymore. But the pink ones here that you see. The ones that are... Um, if I can get one out. I went ahead and these are the original ones that go on both of them, the marquee letters, and I swapped them out um, and I bought a pack of these pink ones that have the, uh, they're like, not embossed, but they have a little design on them. So I swapped all of the original clear ones and put these in there. So I have two of those left, so I just stuffed them in this little box. And then the wire that's left in here, oops. It's actually the wire that was left over from the mini one that I got on clearance that, you know, you can continue to connect the strings or the lights and you hang it. And um, since I didn't have a battery pack, um, I went ahead and just bought a new battery pack. And you'll see when I show you what I'm talking about um, because the lights don't fit into it. So I have extra kind of just hanging. Um, but I'll show you that in a second. So I'll put these over here. And then the paper collection that I used on my small one. Um, the Shabby Chic one is from this paper collection, which is by Lemon Craft, which is a brand from Poland, which is gorgeous, by the way. This is called House of Roses. And I did a haul video on this, so definitely check that out. But these papers are just, they're really gorgeous. They're very Shabby Chic. I love them. This is a really good paper collection. I'm going to definitely double check and look at some more of their paper from Lemon Craft. And then the flowers that I used, actually on both of them, are from Recollections from Michael's. Um, I forgot the, you know, the actual, you know, uh, design or whatever they call these particular flowers, but it's just a bunch of designs and colors and things like that. So I use those as flowers for my letters. So the first one I did is a, um, is going to be a very floral. So like I said, this one I used How You Stop's washi tape on. Um, and then I just put, you can see I put some trim all around it. So I'll try to show you that. And then of course you can see the lights in the back, but yeah. So like I said, wash your tape, the quality of it, not that great. Would not purchase it or use it uh, like ever again. And then this marquee letter as a whole, the quality of it is not that great either. Um, Like I said, when I got this one, it was a long time ago, but it was clearanced out. It was like six or $7. Um, and I'm glad because the quality of it is not that great. You can bend it pretty easily. It has a lot of dents and things in it. So that way you can see when you try to embellish it. So, I mean, it is what it is, but you know, it could be a little bit sturdier, which I know she has some new ones, the new marquee letters out now. And I would imagine that they're probably more sturdier than this. So I would definitely recommend her new ones rather than these old ones. Um, but you can see I also put some just three little flowers just to match the paper the to match the washi tape. The yellow, pink, and white on the side. And then in the inside, in this part, I didn't paint it or anything like that. Only thing I decided to do 
was just put flowers in here, the same colors that are on the washi, um, and then just put those in there like that. That'll add some more dimension to it. So let me turn this around and put this battery pack that fell out in there. And the battery pack, um, I'll show you the back. I just kind of stuck it here in the back of it so that way you can't really see it. Just tuck it in that way so you can't see it. And I'm going to um, turn off the lights or either way till it kind of gets dark so you all can see what it looks like with the um, with the bulbs in there. And then you can see those are the pink ones that I, you know, I switched out and put into this one. You'll see in my small one over there as well. But that is pretty much um, this one first. This one, like I said, it's more of a floral. It's really cute though. I really like the way it turned out. It's different from what I would usually do, but I like it. Then my second one is my fave because it's shabby chic. That's what I like. And you'll see the white, the light stringing from behind this one here in a little bit. So this is the other one. This one is, like I said, kind of a shabby chic look. Um, you can see the bulbs there, the pink ones. Um, so really, like I said, I use the paper collection, um, the House of Roses. One from Poland, and you can see on the side here. You know, I put the paper. I traced first. I traced out the W, and you know, and it just adhered it in the middle there. And then I put some trim, some lace trim on the side. I had in my stash with some uh, white flat backs that I had in my stash as well. And I also did the top with some little flowers at the top as well. And then of course you can see the side on that. So. Have that and then on this side, pick that up. I had just put a little little flowers, some pink and brown, and um, you know, just some flowers to go with it. And then you probably can't see, you know, you really can't see it at all. I put some uh, diamond dust throughout the front of this. You can see one there, that little clear thing there. But other than that, you can't see it on the flowers or anything. You can't see it through the camera. But I put quite a bit of uh, uh, diamond dust on here as well. So as you can see in the back, so that's what I meant by, you know, obviously there wasn't uh, the small one that I had of the wire here. This one came with the small one. So I can get it out of here. Oh, get out of there. Okay, so as you can see, this this is very small, which this one originally, like I said, came with this. But because this did not have a battery pack, I just went ahead and bought a set of whole new lights because they don't sell these just individually, um, which is fine. Um, and because I really wanted this to light up because I love the shabby chic look and with the lights and I want it to light up. So um, like I said, I took this one out. And if anyone knows, by the way, uh, possibly that I don't know. But like I said, this is the one that's supposed to hang. The, the lights are supposed to connect, which is why it doesn't come with a battery pack. And this is where you connect. Either one of these two ends is where you connect to the battery pack. And I have not found a way at all to connect that to it. Um, but if someone does know or found some other alternative besides buying a whole new battery pack, which I already done anyway, please let me know. But um, yeah, I just went ahead and bought a new one and just did that. So obviously you can see I have a huge string of lights just left over it. Um, and what I have, <clears throat> when, I, when I videotape with the lights on both of these, I'll show you I have a little tie that I just tie around. So that way you don't see them in the back when it's uh, lit up. So I'll definitely um, do that. But other than that, um, yeah. I love this shabby chic one. And I love the bulbs. Everything just flows very well with it. So, and that's that side. Yeah, so those are my two uh, How Do You Swap Marquee letters. And like I said, I'll try my best to, um, to uh, I'll either wait till dark or I'll just turn the lights off in my room and kind of see what, um, you know, see what you can, what we can do with that. And I'll um, videotape that or take photos of it. So that is pretty much it. Um, so I do recommend, you know, if you do purchase these, you know, I would definitely give her her new marquee letters a go. Try those out before I would get these ones that are clearanced out just because of the quality. Because um, it's really not that great at all. 
I'd rather have to look, pay a little bit more and get the ones that are much sturdier. But other than that, they're still, you know, all in all fun to alter. I had a blast doing it. So I would still definitely recommend them just to get the more sturdier ones. Um, but other than that, that's about it. So again, um, thanks for watching. Um, and y'all have a blessed day and I'll see you in my next video. And like I said, um, either I'll take photos of it with the light on or come back and videotape it um, so you all can see that. All right, see you next video. Bye. Hey everyone, this is Ashley again. Um, sorry about my hands. I just, I'm working on a project at the moment. But um, I just wanted to come back and let you see my uh, marquee lights um, with the lights on with the battery packs. I tried to turn the light off and you really couldn't see anything. So this is just what it looks like with the lights on, which it looks so much better in person. This camera's not doing any justice, but just to give you all an idea, um, it looks very, it looks gorgeous in person. I don't really like it on the camera at all, to be honest. Um, it's a little bit more of a pale pink color. Um, very shabby looking floral. So just to kind of give an idea of what it looks like with the lights on from each angle. So yeah, that's what my um, How Do You Stop Marquee letters look like. From the front. So yeah, that's what they look like. And I guess I'll see you in my next video. Talk to you later. Bye.